Welcome back. In this lesson, we will first set up an IM user group and then an IM user account besides our root user account. Again, it's a best practice not to use your root account for daily tasks. Basically, you should only be using the root account when necessary, like when you need to change the AWS account name. Let's start by going to IAM. Since I recently visited IAM, for me, it will be seen under this tab. You can also access it by clicking in on the services tab and find it listed under security, identity, and compliance. Remember that IAM is a global service. So we only need to create this IAM user group and IAM user account once. We do not need to create our IAM user in every region because once we create it, it will be applied at the global level. So we will be able to use it in any region. We will start by going to the user group tab. We will select create new group and we will create a group named admin. We will scroll and as you can see, we can't add a user to the group just yet because we haven't created our IAM user account. So we will continue scrolling till we get to the attach permissions policies. As you can see, there are currently 701 predefined policies as of this video. These are policies that AWS creates so you don't have to make them from scratch. And I want to mention again, we should be creating groups in AWS with the principle of least privilege in mind. Since this is my admin group, I will look for the administrator access policy. And if we click on the plus sign in the policy, it will show us a summary and description of what the policy allows in our AWS account. Remember, the star means any. So if we look at the effect, it allows any action on any resource. This policy should be enough for our admin group, so we will select the policy and click on Create Group. We should now get a notification up here that shows us that the admin group has been created. Pretty cool, right? We have created our first IAM user group. Now we will go to the Users tab and we will select Add Users and we will create our IAM user account. We will type in the username and for this lab, I will choose Victor.Caballero. We will select password and this will enable a password that will allow us to sign in into the AWS management console. I will select a custom password and type in my password. We will unselect the required password reset because we have already set the custom one and I don't want to change it upon initial login. We will click on next and we will select the admin group we created in the previous step. We will not be adding tags, so we can simply click on next. Now we should see the success notification appears, notifying us that we have successfully created and added our user to the admin group. We can use the link in the success box to sign in. So I will go ahead and open the page in a private window so that we can sign into the console. In the new page, we will type in our username and password that we set. As you can see in the upper right hand corner of the screen, we are now logged in with our brand new admin user account. Now I'll go back to the previous page and Right before we close this page, I want you to note that you can download a CSV file that will contain the new user account we just created. We can now select close and this will take us back to the users page and shows us our brand new user in the admin group. Pretty cool, right? We managed to create an admin group and create an IAM user account that we can now use instead of the root user account because again, it's an AWS best practice to not use the root account for daily tasks. I'll see you in the next video.